up to everybody typical gamer here with your daily youtube live streams and more in today for you i have a brand new gta 5 stream featuring the honda civic type r um this is actually called the dinka segoy in in game and uh it's What's fairly expensive it's fairly expensive from what i've seen uh it looks to be a pretty fun car so we're gonna be checking it out today buying it using our wait how much money do we have 22 million dollars to go ahead and uh take it for a little spin customize it have a bunch of good times with it so uh we're gonna do all that if you watch and enjoy this you want to see more videos me buying cars you want to see more videos just on gta in general i want to know Okay, I'm very, I'm very curious. I want to know, so I want you to hit that like button if that is up your alley. And uh, if you're new around here and you want to see more stuff like this, the best way to do that is simply by subscribing. So just hit the subscribe button. We're almost at nine million subscribers, and uh, we'd love to see you as part of the nine milli club. So uh, over here, you can see we got the, I think it's the Roosevelt that is the car that's uh, available to win if you spin the wheel, and you are so lucky to. Uh, land on the free car so i have never gotten the free car i already have that car i wouldn't be too excited if i got it but it would be pretty cool to eventually or to finally win something in this damn casino all right so let's go ahead and spin this thing and uh i'm gonna need you all to just uh really send some positivity my way so hopefully i get this car okay It'll mean a lot to me if I get this car because I feel like with 1 in 20 odds, I should have gotten it already. It's not going to land on it. Mother of... I like how the lady said, God damn it, right in the back. <laughs> well, that almost... 10,000 chips ain't too bad, I guess. That, uh, that almost put me to have over a million chips. So let's go ahead and max it out. And boom, now we have a million chips, chat. We've got a million chips for absolutely no reason. But we got a million of them, which means we're number one, okay? Which means we're number one. So let's go ahead and... Oh, do I get a visitor bonus? I collected my 1,000 chips, you see? It's just money on money on money on money and profit. It's just profit, back-to-back -back profit. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up our phone. Let's go to the internet. Let's go to Legendary Motorsport. It won't be in here, of course, because it's not... Uh, it's not on that website. So let's open up our internet again. Let's go to Southern San Andreas Super Autos. And then you will see over here, right beside the truck we did last week. Right beside the, the beautiful drift truck we did last week, which if you haven't seen, go check it out on the channel. We had a lot of fun with this one. Uh, today we got the Dinka Sugoi. And it's, it's, it's going to run us a pretty penny here. Okay, the trade price is 918000 which means if you used it during the heights, you would get it for that price. I didn't. Okay, so that means I have to buy now for 1.224 million dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Honda Civic Type R to the core. Okay, I know these things don't run a million dollars in real life, but they're gonna make us pay a million in game because that's what they do. So that's what we're gonna do here today. And it says, how do you let people know you're interesting and exciting without engaging in conversation or even making eye contact? The Dinka Sugoi has so much finish and flash as the elaborate mating ritual of a bird of paradise. Just paint it bright, beam the lights, and power slide your way around town to lure the admiration and friendship that you alone could not. So we're gonna be copping this thing. For a whopping 1.224 million, which was more expensive, this or the drift truck? It was only like 70, like $80,000 more, a little bit over $80,000 more expensive. So I asked this last time. Let me go ahead and buy it first, and then we'll talk about it. So let's go ahead and just get it like, let's get it in red, I guess. We can get it in pink, but let's just buy it in red. And let's send that over to... I don't know if I have space anywhere. I'm going to send it to you, Arena Workshop B2. All right, so it's going to take a little time to get that into the shop. Uh, as we look over here, there is a couple of cars that I have not done on stream. Now, whether I do them all in one stream or if I do a stream per vehicle is to be decided. But I want to know if you guys want to see a spending spree on this, the Nagasaki Alpha. Do you want to see a spending spree on that? Do you want to see a spending spree on the Karen Sultan? Bring me back with those GTA 4 vibes with Nico Bellic. Or do you want to see me do uh, some of the other new cars in the Legendary Motorsports? Some of the more expensive ones. Uh, I don't believe I did the Kamado. I might have. 
Um, I definitely did not do the Overflood a Morgan, which looks really, really cool. And I definitely didn't do the Albany Vister. So those are definitely possibilities. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I should do them, maybe I'll possibly do them. So just let me know. And I just want to shout out to Kevin Ross and Drip God Dorian, both who became members. Welcome to enjoy those emotes. If you want to join as well, link in the description below. Did we get our card delivered? No, it's just a hardcore comic store guy. Okay. That's nice that you're so good. You're so hardcore in the comments. I'm going to have to go outside and destroy my vehicle, I think. I think that's what's going to have to go down. Pretty much. Because, um... Oh, the mini tech. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could also do a spending spree on... I think it would be less of a spending spree and more just buying it. I don't know if you can customize it, but there's the invade and persuade mini tank, which is really, really cool. And then there's also the JB700W, which is the James Bond car. Apparently it has, like, the functions. I don't know if you could, like, um, have the, the... Not a booster C, the ejector C. I don't know if you could have that, um, but we can always check that out. And then there is the Zaba. Which is the one we used in the heist. Pretty cool and uh, it would be nice to customize because it was so damn slow in the heist. But maybe, you know, if you customize it now, it would be, it'd be nice. I don't know. But that, that's for us to discover, chat. And that's my question to you today. Should I, should I freaking do it? Should I do it live on stream? I don't know. Okay, we're going to have to blow up our car here. As per ritual. Um... It always gives me a nice car. Oh, is, so this is the car we customized last week. This was the the drift truck. It was a really, really fun vehicle to customize. And it's actually a really, really fun vehicle to drive as well. I think everyone had a lot of fun um, kind of checking out this vehicle. It drifts like crazy. You can pop wheelies with it. It's just all around a really fun vehicle. And we really decked it. We really decked it out. So... Um, unfortunately, we're going to have to blow it up right now. Uh, so there's that. Let, let's give it a proper Viking burial here. So let's go ahead and uh, put a couple stickies on the back. There you go. Okay. That's not a normal sound. Nope, that's not normal at all. Let's do three. All right, there we go. Uh, we're going to just send it off the side. I think I'm going to jump out right before. I think that's the best way. I don't know. Okay, wait. Just, can we just hold up for one second? What the ever-loving... Excuse me, sir. Okay, I don't know how that is floating, but uh, there's something severely wrong with that sticky right there. There's something severely wrong, but uh, if I run into it, it's not going to explode, right? Oh, I was kind of scared there. Okay, see you later. Oh, shh. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, so... Um, the um the F key that you see right here is the one to no, get out sorry. of the vehicle. Uh, the G key here is the one to explode, and I somehow managed to well, press both of them at the same time. You know, it was a little bit of a different method than I had hoped, uh, but uh, it still got the same job done. Okay, hey, still I'm got so the. So oh sorry. my goodness gracious, lady! I'm sorry. I just looked at you. You scared me. I didn't think anyone was there. You scared me. All right, let's go contacts. Let's go over to the mechanic. You need and, something, huh? Uh, when you let's go over Let to. What was it? B two. All right. This. <laughs> I like it. it. Just says destroyed. Yes, I know. Trust me. Uh, this is the Segoy. There as soon as I can. I don't think I have fat fingers, but like, like whether they are physically fat or not. They definitely act like very large. I feel like I have like another finger attached to my finger. That's how much like when I press stuff, I just even in other games, I just hit other stuff by accident. All right, so uh, enough uh, chit chat here. This is the Honda Civic Type R. Uh, I think it goes even more specific. I looked it up on the GTA Wiki. So if I just search up this car, what's this car called again? The Dinka. Segoy. It's under the sports category. It's a front wheel drive. I'm 99.9% .9 sure the easiest way to tell that on any vehicle is ram it against the wall, hold the accelerator, whatever spins, 
is what it is. If the front spins, it's front wheel drive. If the back spins, it's back wheel drive. If all spin, it's all wheel drive. So very, very easy tip for you to know. Um, and then according to the wiki, it says that this is a Honda Civic Type R FK8 with a lot of influence taken from a fourth generation Subaru WRX STI as seen in the hood from bumper and side view. And the shape of the taillight seems to be reminiscent of the second generation Chevrolet Volt. So that is kind of like always what GTA does. They kind of mix match everything and put it all together so uh, nobody can come after them, I guess, right? They can't be like, oh, you stole our car. Be like, no, it's actually like eight cars, okay, put together. But uh, I know that a lot of you guys do like the Honda Civic Type R, and I think that uh, this is this is gonna this is gonna reside pretty well. So again, that information was the GTA Fandom Wiki. So shout out to that for the information. But what do you guys think of this vehicle stock? Honestly, that looks like the Honda logo. Until you really look in, then it don't. But until then, it do. What do you guys think of this vehicle stock wise? I know. For a fact, its racing abilities are pretty subpar. It's not going to be winning any races in the sports category. But I do know that the Honda Type R, um, in real life, I think for, for front wheel vehicles, it's one of the fastest, right? Am I crazy? I think it's something like that. And, um, yeah. And I think in this game, it has one of the fastest acceleration for front wheel drive but that doesn't really matter since it's in the sports category and that's then coupled with all the other cars which are really really jacked so uh we're gonna go ahead and hop in this i really do love the lights on this car they look fan diddly tastic the rims look pretty sweet too uh i wish they were all blacked out but uh, you know it is what it is i'm a big fan of default rims but i think we'll get away with putting on some uh aftermarket parts here so we're gonna be customizing it here today why do you, you look so weird for a second? Stop crouching, sir. We're going to be customizing here today, seeing everything that we could do in this car. Let's go ahead and test it real quick. And um, we can valet service it. How nice. It looks pretty nice on the interior. It's um, The back looks really cool. I actually really like the back. And it, it feels pretty nice. Again, it's not going to win any crazy, crazy races. I don't think. It ain't got that type of performance, but... I think what we're going to be doing here is customizing it for the looks. And uh, I'm just going to say off the bat, if you want to get this car for races, I think you should look into other vehicles. So this is going to be a solely cosmetic journey that we're going to go on today. All right. So let's go ahead and head over to the LS Customs. Let's check it out. And then maybe if we have enough people online later, we'll do like a car show. So if you're watching this and I have you in the crew or on my friends list and uh, you got this car, get ready because we might maybe do a car show, okay? Or we'll do a race or something. I feel, I feel like one of, the, one of those are possibly possible. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get it to the shop and let's see what customizations. Because I think even though some vehicles aren't viable in the race category, it doesn't mean that you should just disregard them. Right? It doesn't mean... I just want to check one thing, too, before we do this. Uh, it doesn't mean you should disregard them. It just means that they have a different journey to go on. Okay? That's all. Let's open all these doors. Oh! Bro, we got... I th Chat, do we got that VTEC in, in the front? We might got that VTEC, bro. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Open around. You got the four doors. You got some nice space over here you got this thing on top to block people looking in the trunk make sure nobody's stealing nothing you have these very interesting i honestly have never seen this before these like between the headrests it's like carbon fiber i don't know it looks cool though the car does look pretty sweet it looks pretty pretty sweet so let's go ahead and put it into the shop okay i don't think i've ever driven the car with every door open but let's see let me close all the doors. There you go. Close all the doors. Close all the doors. We're going to have a good time. Just close all the doors and we're going to have a good time. I got $21 million, sir. You can uh, nickel and dime me all you want, okay? But he's a nice gentleman. He only charged me $175 to repair this vehicle. Good to go. So let's go ahead and throw on some armor. That's going to be a 50k upgrade for 100% armor. I don't really know. 
what armor does in this game. Somebody probably has like an in-depth video, but um, yeah, I, I guess you take more shots before you explode. Uh, race brakes, always nice to have. Bumpers, here we go. So we got 15 different bumper choices, including the stock. So we got the stock front diffuser, this one, that one, and the options just keep going and going. I'm a fan of the carbon fiber on this is looking pretty sweet. Usually when I get your opinion on this chat, most everybody says to go for the final one. And I might have to agree in this case because we're decking this thing out. Look at all the, this is a primary downforce diffuser. That might be a mouthful for some of you. The primary downforce diffuser. Pretty freaking sweet. I mean, if you're not a fan of having all that stuff on the side, the, the canards, the canards, if you will, I still don't know how to pronounce them. But, um, man, I think we're going to go with this one. We're just going to have to, we're just, if we're going to go for it, we're just going to have to full send it. No half sends, only full sends. That's what we're going to do here today. All right. So let's go ahead and grab that. It really does add to it. The car feels beefier already. And then we got the rear diffuser. So this is stock. And then continuing down, you can see it adds more ventilation, if you will. Continuing forward. Ooh, ooh. Oh, it looks real nice with the carbon diffuser here. Damn, okay. Okay, that's pretty sweet. I think if, if I were to full on get this in real life, I'd probably go with the... Honestly, the carbon does look pretty sweet. So this is a carbon downforce diffuser. The turbo diffuser to me looks pretty sweet as well. But I, I, I think both are both got their their pros and cons, you know? Both got their pros and cons. So let's go ahead and get that. Look, it's sharp. And then let's go with the engine. Let's go with the max upgrade. Exhaust. So we got uh, right now we got the stock exhaust, which seems to be like two oval exhausts. Um, I kind of like the the width of them, you know, the the overall size of them, right? But you got tons of different options. You can get the four cluster exhaust, the sports exhaust, split exhaust, square cluster exhaust, or the angled square exhaust. So I think actually my favorite is going to be the sports exhaust. But there there is something about having four exhausts, or at least the illusion of four exhausts. I might, I'm going to go with the angled square exhaust. That looks pretty sweet. And then let's go with grill. So this is stock grill. So you can see over here, this is what? This is like a, a pebble blocker. Like what's going on here? So going down here, you can kind of make the top trim grill. Oh, you can see you add some rally grill over here. I mean, there's a nice little rally car. Rally with top trim grill. Track grill. Oh, the track grill is actually my favorite probably right now. Uh, track with top. And then you got the GT grill or the GT with top trim grill. This is very interesting choices. I actually like this one. I do like the GT in this case. Either one, really. This is kind of nice with the one line. The three lines is pretty cool, too. Let's go. We're just going to go bottom of the list for everything here, apparently. So hood. We got the stock hood. Moving down the list, lots of different options. Again, this is just an overall, if you're looking at buying this vehicle, this should be a nice little appetizer for you to know what you want to get and maybe what options with you choose. It doesn't mean that you and me would choose the same things. You probably are way better at this. Way better. Oh my God, you are so damn good at this. I'm just kidding, I'm the best, but you can be second place. And uh, with second place, you're gonna have a different opinion. So um, going through here, there's a lot of different options. I like to keep it classic. I like to keep it simple. Although there is something that speaks to me about having the rally hood with, uh, with that right there, the, the nice little vent there. Uh, I think what we're gonna go with is probably this performance hood. It's either the performance hood or is that the, that's the stock one, bro. I was kind of going to say I like this one, but maybe I can't go with that one then, huh? Damn, I was really going to go stock. 
I'm not joking with you guys. I thought this primary hood, I thought this was the stock one, but apparently I'm wrong. Um, that's a good question. Good question. Next question. Good question. Um, I kind of like this one. I kind of like the sports hood or the rally hood. What do you guys think? I'll take the second one. You guys like the second one? Oh, you'll take sec. I understand. I understand. Def the rally hood. It's either rally or sports for me. Maybe you guys could help me decide here as I drink a little coffee. I just accidentally bought the sports hood. <laughs> I, I honestly, I went for my mouse and I hit the... Look, okay, I'm not even joking. Bro, I might have the... Look, I might be the clumsiest person with the keyboard. I went to go for my mouse, okay? And as I was going for it, I hit this button... So it happens to be the enter for the keypad, numpad, the numbers pad. But uh, I think a lot of people are saying rally. A lot of people are saying sports too. Uh, let's go ahead and go with, honestly, let's, let's stick with the sports one. I think the sports one's good. All right, horn. That sounds like a song. Is that a Kendrick Lamar song? Dude, if anybody knows what song that is, please. I honestly don't see... The, like, probably one of the customizations I never do... Is horns. I don't get it. Honestly, the San Andreas loop bangs, though. You guys ready? Actually, I probably like the Liberty City one better, but San Andreas one is pretty good. Okay, you guys ready for it? Hey. Okay. Cabela vibes. Let's get it. Let's go. Anyway, um, let's go with lights. Okay. We gotta go with the blue lights, right? You ever pull up in front of a Honda and it's like, you ever pull up and somebody's like, I don't know if you guys, what kind of cars you guys drive, but like, if you're ever in like a sedan or a lower car or any car, and there's a guy that pulls up behind you and he's in a truck or an SUV, and for some reason, while in traffic, this dude has his high beams on. Does that ever happen to you guys? Maybe even if you're a passenger, if you've just been in a vehicle that's lower to the ground than the vehicle behind you, and they're blasting their high beams for no apparent reason. That just gets on my nerves. Oh, livery. Okay, sweet. There's still 13 other customizations here, so I'm getting pretty I'm getting pretty happy. So this is the the liveries here. This one says red stripes. Interesting. I Maybe if I made the car a different color. Let me let me just see something. Uh, respray. Let's make this just let's make this just a black for a second. All right. Let's just make this a black for a second, and let's let's just see what this livery would be like. It's like to me that's not red. I don't understand. Like to me that's not red. That's like a light salmon pastel looking pink. That looks like you're getting like. I don't know, bro. That that looks like freaking. I it looks pink to me. This is checker stripes. I guess it's, it's just like a lower opacity. There's sugo stripes. Sugoi, sugoi. Uh, wave. I really like the wave one. The wave. See, that's red. That's red. This isn't red. That's red. This isn't red. That's red. Uh, we got Racer 23. You guys know 23, one of my favorite numbers of all time. Racer 29, totally possible. Racer 99, okay. Wayne Gretzky, what's up? And then we got Jackal Racing, Bolt Burger. It's actually really cool. If you want to get like a rally car looking design, this one's probably 
They're all pretty good, but like this. The. Hold up! Hold the phone. Uh, this one's probably the closest one for that. Okay, what is this one? Interesting. Scantily clad cat human hybrid thing. Huh. That is Princess Robot Bubblegum. Okay. Oh, what is this? Red Warrior. Oh, snap. That's like one of those, um, like, ornamental masks that they use in, like, a, I'm not sure which. If I said the wrong culture, you guys are going to get mad at me. I, I don't know. It's a culture east from here. <laughs> is that, that's, I'm going to say Oni. Is that an Oni mask? Bro, that is an Oni mask. Right? I, I thought I was going to get wrong, but I think I'm pretty right. That one's actually pretty sick. But like what throws it off is I re I'm really a fan of this like front design. And like the, I just get lost in translation here on the sides. I really do. I don't know what's going on there. So we're going to have to think long and hard about these. Let me go ahead and just respray it back to red. And then we'll figure that out down the line. We don't got to figure it out right now. We can actually look at the colors right now if you guys want. Uh, you guys can give me your opinion on which one. This is actually, this red really stands out. This Torino red. It's a really nice red formula. It's a bit more low key. There's a bunch of nice colors here though. Let me know which color you would pick. I'm just going to go through them so you guys can see a little preview of them. Pretty sweet stuff. I'm hoping that this red line is actually the secondary paint job because that actually lets let's just have a bit more fun and customization with it. So let me just see real quick. So secondary. Yes, it is. So we can make it like a we can do all sorts of crazy stuff with it. We can actually make that all blacked out. That actually looks pretty sick, right? Like that. That kind of hits different. Not going to lie. Kind of even like a green accent to it. Or even like the red but matte. You could you could make this car pretty much any way you want. So let let's um let, let's come back to that. And let's I'm going with the wrong one. Let's go back to that in a bit. And we're gonna go with just a red right now. There we go. Let's just go with Torino red right now, make it easy for us to customize. So where were we at? We we're at liveries. There was all these different options. I don't know which one really lands with me actually this livery looks way better if it's all red i don't know there's lots of different options but let's go mirrors so this is stock mirrors secondary frame carbon frame primary carbon frame and then secondary carbon frame so essentially the difference is do you want this strip going through it or do you want it to be half and half with the carbon on the bottom i think i'm gonna go with that version I think that looks really cool. Uh, plate, lots of different options here. I'm going to go with top notch. And I think for the plate, I don't want it to be too serious. So I think I'm going to do the nice. That one kind of goes well. The SA exempt looks pretty cool too. I think we're going to go with the San Andreas vibes here. Or we can, this one's low key. Let's go with that one. I like that one. So roof. So this is the stock roof. You can have the rally scoop and primary fin, which is of course this shark looking thing. Uh, you got the track scoop in carbon fin, air scoop and carbon antenna, square scoop and primary fin, GT scoop and rally antennas, sports scoop and rally antennas. I'm not the biggest fan of putting antennas on it because um, truthfully, like I'm not taking this thing out rally. I'm not taking this thing out to the track. I don't need to communicate with that many people in it. Um, so let's go ahead and I think what I'll do is probably do the square scoop or the air scoop. I think we'll go with the square scoop. I like it. The stock one didn't have anything. So really it's, to me, it's the rally scoop or the square scoop. It's one of those. I got to really pick. And I think just like from this angle here, I think I'm going to go with the square scoop. Yep. Square scoop skirts. Stock skirts over here. You can go ahead and change it up a little bit. You can really just see the, the big difference over here in the bottom right corner. If you're taking a peek. That makes it carbon. That takes out the little jettison there. 
Um, keep going lower here. That actually looks really good. Cool. I'm actually a fan probably of the, the last one with the carbon. We, we are having a little bit of carbon on the car. It's not the primary focus, but you can see the carbon runs here. I think it'll be nice to have a little carbon on each piece. Maybe we come back to this and put a little carbon in the front too. Spoiler. This one's going to be tough. So this is just a fin tail spoiler. So you won't actually notice anything right at the back here, but you'll see at the edge, it'll have like ears tucked back. So that's the thing. There's a racer tail, primary street spoiler. It's really where we want the spoiler because I'm, I'm fairly certain it'll come back through here as well. So yeah. Oh man, the carbon one actually looks pretty cool. Then you can do like an arrow spoiler, a carbon arrow spoiler, a GT spoiler popping off the back, a carbon track spoiler, track MK2 spoiler. You're going a little bit crazy here, I think, but the carbon drag spoiler, <laughs> secondary drag spoiler, and then you got the sports spoiler. That one's actually really cool. Or the sprint spoiler. So lots of different options here. You really you really can't go wrong if you like it, you like it. I'm thinking for me at least, I'd probably go with the carbon arrow spoiler. But again, there's there's lots of different options. Some of them look really good. I th I feel like it's the most OEM looking, but also like good looking too, so I think I'm gonna go with that for now. Let's go with that for now. All right, what everybody's been waiting for. Should we drop this car low? I feel like you got it. So it's on stock, this is lowered. Let's just another one and another one, another one, another one. So this is the difference. Standard competition or race suspension. You get it pretty low to the ground. Transmission 40K, tur wait, turbo 50K. Uh, windows let's go ahead and tint them out and then for the wheels I usually don't like changing them but this one has a pretty generic wheel and I think we can get away with I don't know if we'll go with the super wheels here or if we'll go with the sorry the high-end ones or the sport ones because you can see like you can see that the wheel itself changes but I actually in this case like the the options that we have here so let's go with i mean it's a tough choice kind of like this one with the studs i don't know we can go with high end high end just looks a little bit crazy on this car what do you guys think I think it can work. Like th this one kind of slaps. Even like these look can look really, really nice on it. I kind of like the Obey RS. Yeah, the, the this is one of the few situations where I don't like the stock wheels. I like th I like the girth of the stock wheels here. I actually think that the sport wheels are a bit bigger in this case not bigger but they have more wheel so let's go with high end we're gonna go ahead and drop it on the let's go with the obey rs a lot of people saying high end yeah let's do that all right wheel color i don't really know if i like that I might have to go with just the solar carbon. I don't know. A lot of these other wheels, they just don't look good to me sometimes. Let's throw these on right now for now. And then, so we got those. We can put on custom tires if we want. I don't know if we want this to be like decked out in sponsors and stuff, but I think we take it back now. Let me just check the bumper real quick. I think that adds the kind of touch that we need because look we have carbon all like kind of touches to it see at the back here on the side and now we're gonna have it on the front here if we add that i think that looks really really good with the carbon i usually don't like carbon but in this case 
I think it's a go-go. And with that, we can start exploring these liveries. I don't know which one I would get. I think this one's pretty cool, the wave one. Let's see, I, I kind of want to try, let's see the matte colors. The black looks pretty cool. I think black on black for this car would look really, really nice. But there's also the option to make it like a red color. Even a matte red looks pretty sweet on it. An orange would look pretty sweet. Green would look nice. Like these are all definitely options that we can go with. Let's, I'm gonna try just throwing on black on black right here and seeing if we like it. So this is black on black. This thing is pretty mean. What I wish they added to this game, which I think would add a little more depth, is I wish you had the ability to tint the like um, the brake lights and the front lights. I think that would be pretty cool. So this is the black on black vibe. We can also go, if we did white, you could see what changes. There's uh, a few things on the car that change when you do that. We can even do with that with blue. I mean, even like a low key blue or you could do it with the red matte red that looks pretty sweet too especially matching with the brake calipers orange looks pretty cool green all of those are really cool options for this makes it look like a ninja turtle car or something and what is trim colored oh trim is actually pretty significant on the inside so I'll show you guys from the outside, but you can see it changes most everything. It changes the primary color of the seat. And then it also changes the like front dash area. So if you want to make it red, it might be overwhelmingly red. You see, if we go Torino red, like that's a lot of red, but it also kind of looks sick, right? Like it do be kind of fresh though. I'm not lying. It do be kind of fresh, though. Yo, shout out to Lawrence Emerson, Reject, and Philip Gerard, all who became members. We got five new members this stream. Shout out to all of them. Enjoy those emotes. And if you want to join as well, link will be in the description below. Uh, we can also just throw it so that it's black on black on black on red. So many different options. red inside of black and gold on the outside let's see what gold would look like here I, I I just think gold looks a little bit tacky the brush silver actually looks pretty cool in this car but like gold, gold is too much it'd be too much to be a gold car you know maybe we do again chrome very ugly Classic, totally possible. The options are truly endless. Really, I mean, like, I think a bright green looks really good. May we do it a bright green? If it's going to be my car in real life, I'd probably do it a black and red. I'd probably do it like this. I think matte needs to be done right to look really good. And I think in this case, it does look pretty good. The only thing that throws me off is I think this should have a little bit more red, but like, that's probably just an option that we could do like that one. I think that one probably looks better in this case, where it has the, the more red gold highlights, gold highlights would be pretty cool, man. Not going to lie. Let's see. I don't want to spend too much time on this. Um, metals gold highlights does look pretty cool thoughts that's an expensive secondary and then i think we'd have to change the skirt again to this one that's a beauty right there and then maybe we change the the hood Ooh, the dual vent it looks pretty sweet I might go with the dual vented, honestly. Now and then the only other job. thing I would change as well is probably the grill. You can make it real smile at you, you know? 
I kind of like it cleaner. Chat, what do you think? I kind of like it cleaner. I don't know if I like all this business going on over here. It's a, it's a bit, it gets a bit muddy down here. I think either a track rail or just the, the, the plain old one. I think I go with that. I'm going to change things up. Honestly, I don't think we got to go that crazy on it. I think we were going a bit too hard on this car. Maybe even that one looks like it do be kind of fresh. It's kind of, it's kind of clean, right? All right. The, the only other thing I want to change, let me just see the rear diffuser real quick. If we want to take out the carbon, we totally could, but I think it looks good like that. We're going to leave those there and then let's do a final touch here. Let's go with the, the mirrors. I just want to see real quick. I think that's, I think it's too much gold. So I think what we do is we leave it. I think we go pure carbon frame here. Yeah, let's do that. And then for the, the plate, even we can go the black and gold. That's pretty sweet. And then for the roof, I feel like the roof is a bit more important that we're leading. Like the antennas do. Oh, I think that one. I don't, I don't really want to add too much gold to the top, right? I want it to be kind of a clean top look. And I feel like the track scoop or the air scoop, they, they both accomplish that in different ways. I think this one's way apparent. Even the stock roof looks pretty good or the rally scoop. I think that adds some nice texture to the rally scoop. Maybe we go with that. Let's go with that. And then I just want to take a look at the spoilers one more time. Yeah, I think everything else is a bit much. So I think we'll keep it the way that we got it. I mean, that do be looking kind of fresh, though. It do be looking kind of fresh, though. This one's the sprint spoiler is ugly. The sports spoiler is actually pretty sweet. So I'm just going to throw that out there. Maybe we should reconsider a little bit. Because what do we got right now? We got this one. And I, I think it looks clean, but... Like the option is there where we could change it a little bit, you know? Hmm. Okay, and the only other thing is like the wheels. If we wanted to, we can give them like a little bit of color. We don't want too much, so like a gold would be nice with it. Or we just keep it. We can go with a white color. We don't want to throw it off, right? So like this is a bit too much the yellow maybe a light white we don't want to go too crazy with it we just want we just wanted to know that we've got its back you know let's go with gold you've been in the mod shop for an hour hey it's been a couple minutes it's been a couple minutes for sure all right i think we're good what do you guys think? Is this a cop or a drop? What do you think of my customization chat? The only other thing we could do is add lights. Like a neon layout. It do be looking. I'm going to keep it white too. I think we're going to have to change our outfit to look good. All right. So I think we're pretty set here. I don't think we're going to go with a livery. If we wanted to, one that would match, I would do this one probably, but I think it looks good without it. I think, yeah, I think we're going to do it without it. I think so. All right. Let's go ahead and exit the shop. Damn. Okay. Okay. This thing do be looking kind of fresh, though. Ooh, look at those lights. It sounds kind of mean. I like it, man. I dig this car. I think it looks super clean. I think we did a really great design on it. And I think it do look...
kind of fresh though. The one addition that we can do is change the lights to a different color. Let's go see what options we have. What a drift! Goodness gracious. I didn't even mean to do it that well. Tricks on tricks on tricks. They say failed, I say completed. The only thing, I would possibly take out the underglow. Again, if this were to be my car in real life. Or I'd change the secondary to red. I think either or of those are pretty good options. Oh shoot, I might have had a bit. Oh no. What have I done? I'm back in it, baby. I'm back in it. All right, so guys, don't forget, if you're watching and enjoying this, do be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. Okay, okay. We're gonna keep things going here. We're gonna see if anyone's online. If they are, then maybe we'll do a car show. Or we'll do a little race. The problem with doing a race is that uh, everyone's going to smoke me if they got a car that's not this one. Because this car, again, um, from what other people have found, isn't very... I don't think I've ever jumped through that hole. Uh, isn't very great in terms of performance. So It's going to be a looks-only kind of car. I'm I'm vibing strongly with this vehicle, okay? I am. Truly. Truly. Oh shoot. Uh no, okay. Uh the vehicle you entered. Oh shoot. Uh Mother of Pearl. Wait, I think we should find it on the second parking level or whatever. I don't know how to get to the second parking level. Uh, View the security cameras. No, no, I don't want to see that. I don't care. Uh, ooh. Bro, I don't think I've ever gone down. I've never used this elevator. Okay. Oh, this is kind of fresh. Bro, I had this. I had a bunch of rhinos with gas masks on down there. What the heck? I don't, I don't hate it. I'm gonna be honest, I don't hate it. Okay. This car kind of looks sick here. Let's be real. That looks fresh. That looks damn fresh. Any of you saying you don't like it, you would not bad an eye if somebody wanted to give you this car you would take it and you would love it guaranteed all right let's modify just take a peek at what options we have available here so um i think it's really the lights so these are the normal stock lights these are the blue ones and these are the white lights i actually think with the white lights look really really good or we go with blue. Honestly, you know me Hondas I see driving with blue lights? Okay, which one? Electric blue or blue? I think electric blue is more what I see. Golden shower kind of looks cool too. In the game. In the game it looks cool. Okay. Corey Lamb, you are? He was on, bro. I didn't replace his batteries. He's so damn cute, but he's so damn out of batteries. Let's put him back over here. Chill right here in the dark past. In the dark past. The black light ones look pretty cool. Everyone's saying blue. Nobody's saying electric blue. Some people are saying electric blue. Let's go with, uh, I'm just going to go with what I like here. I like, uh, I like, I, li I think I like electric 
I might just like blue blue. I'm gonna go with the blue lights. There's 50,000 to put those blue lights on. What the bloody heck? Mm, okay. We get on those. And then just for tint. You, I wish you could tint the front lights and the back lights. Mostly the back lights. If you could chat, how nice would this car look if I could tint those out? That would look fan diddly tastic, man. All right, look, we got the blue lights on it. I might take out the underglow. I don't like the underglow. Give me a sec. Uh, let's go to the other guy to take it out. Wait, 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 actually, I think I might switch it to electric blue too. Okay, two changes. Two changes, like two chains. We're going up. Yeah, we're going insane. What the heck? It's like the game ignores me when I go there. Go. Are you bloody? What is wrong with you? There we go. That was weird. Okay. Yeah, underglow does look weird, doesn't it? I'm telling you guys. See, I, you got it. If you don't customer customize your cars like this. You ain't doing it right, man. You ain't doing it right, all right? Let's do electric blue. All right. Oh. Can we drive out? There we go. All right, chat. What do you think of this vehicle right now? Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Why does the... I don't get how it shines less. But, okay. That's kind of sweet. That do be looking kind of fresh, though. What do you guys think? It sounds real nice. I got armor, son. The bumper is too much. The bumper might be a little bit too much, but I like it. I think it's a fresh looking car. I'd rate it a solid 9 out of 10 in terms of appearance. In terms of performance, it's, it's probably butt cheeks, but I, I, I kind of like the way I drift with it, too. The, the drifts feel kind of nice. They're like kind of long-winded, nice drifts. Let's just go around the block. We're gonna end up at this clothing store here in a second, but let's just go around the block. I just wanna try out another drift. Oh, there goes my hood. Oh, shoot. I can't drive to save my life, apparently. Looks like a getaway car. I kinda like it about that. Ooh, okay. It's a little harder to drift through this car than I thought, but. It's a fun, I think it's a fun car. Again, it's not going to win you many races, I don't think, but if you're planning on having fun with it, this might just be the right pick. It is pretty expensive. I don't know. For value, you're probably not going to get the value you want if you're going to get it for a racing vehicle. But um, for everything else, you know, pretty damn fresh, man. Pretty damn fresh. Let's go ahead. I just want to change my... A customer. What did you just say, Becky? Becky, what did you? What the? What the hell? What the heck did you just say to the me? The sizes run small if you want to avoid getting depressed. Okay, you know what? I don't appreciate what you're saying, lady. Let me just see. Uh, orderly armor. Honestly, he do be looking kind of fresh though, don't don't he? Chat, he do be looking kind of fresh, like that. Oh, you have to unlock it, mother. I I want to get a coat like this in real life. That that's a nice looking. You know, it probably wouldn't look as myself, good on me, but it looks nice on other it. people. Evening armor. 
I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna take a little peek, okay chat? I'm just taking a little peek. Classic look. Okay. Oh, the Oni mask. Okay. Valet suit. F FBI. Prison guards. I got those. Undertakers. All right. Refuse collector. Maintenance. Young ancestors. There's so many stuff. Okay. I think we're going to go with. Uh. Mm, I don't want to go too much with a car, but I got this. I got this. We can go with the suit. A suit is possible. We just what? have the sizes on the rack, so don't bother asking. Mm. I kind of like the rebel ones, but like this is a pretty dope looking outfit. I know like while I'm in the car, it's going to look way better. Oh, yeah, yeah, there, there's a new, um, tell me if you guys want to see it. They're adding diamonds to the last heist, which is actually pretty sweet. Uh, and they're going to up the amount of money you get from it. So do you, do you guys want to see a stream on that? I'm always a fan of this one, the burnout. Or we can just rock a designer one. But I, I think that would be too fancy for what I it is. I don't usually dress like this. They make us wear the clothes. We can go with luxury. Look at it. Okay, there we go. We found it, chat. We found it. Look. We got our trench coat on. Inspector TG. Inspector Gadget. Ma -na -ma -na -ma -bum -bum. Look, we look like we fit in this car. We look, we, we, I think we look a bit too proper for the car, but we still do be looking kind of fresh. Though, with our nice leather gloves. Everybody's saying yes, they want to see it. Okay, so I'm going to see how many people are online. Probably not many. In terms of, like, friends and stuff. There's, like, two people. I appreciate everyone that's on. I, I, just, I don't think we have enough people on to do, like, a car show or something. Maybe. I mean, it's possible. It's going to be, like, two people, though. So I think we'll keep that for another time. We'll have more orderly, a more, you know, um, precise... We'll have a more precise thing. What I want to do here is probably just whip it and take this thing for a nice little drive. What brings All you right. in today? Should be running there we better go. than ever. Okay, or you know, we could we could totally just take this thing a different direction. Just ba ba ba. White do be looking kind of fresh though. Lime green do be looking kind of fresh though. So I just started blasting. I'll read all super chats in just a bit. Probably towards the, the latter half of the stream here. Um, so heads up if you drop the dono. I appreciate the heck out of you. But I'll read it in just a little bit. Um... Uh, respray. Look like Hitman. All right, let's just try one with a livery. Okay, wait. I, I just want to drive it a little bit. Let me let me drive it. I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna shake up the randomizer here and throw some cool things on, and then uh, we'll probably wrap it up. All right. So let's go ahead and just take it for a nice little whip. I think it's a fine looking vehicle. Look, I kind of match with it too, right? You're like, damn, son, like, who's that? Who's that in the Civic, bro? The Type R. Are they insane? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This thing, I'm telling you, do look kind of fresh. I, I kind of like the way it drives. Again, it's not the most performance. Jesus Christ. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have my license. What? I just knocked it out. Um, it's not the most performance leaning vehicle, but it do look kind of fresh and the driving style is kind of neat. It is kind of expensive, so that's going to be between you and your God, whether you get it or not. 
but I can say it's kind of a fun car. Like to customize is kind of far, fun, to drive is kind of fun. Won't win you any races, but do be kind of fun. Do be kind of fun. It randomly loses control. It had, probably has a high safety rating. Oh, oh, this is my friend. It's my friend Melissa. What's up, Melissa? Your car's got more style than a prize Holstein at a Harvest Fairground. You guys hear that? I don't like people watching me. Let's find some place secret. Okay, lady. I I just thought you wanted to admire the car. That is not the case, ma'am. I would ask that you please leave the vehicle. Okay? Let's go somewhere where the busy buddies can't see us, sugar. Ma'am, this has just been a, a... I need you to get out of the vehicle. I think that we both had different... Sweet baby Jesus! I, th I think we both had the wrong idea what was going on. I thought you just wanted to admire the vehicle. Okay. That's it. I thought you just wanted to admire the vehicle. And you clearly had some ulterior motives. Okay? And that's not the Melissa I grew up with, man. That is a different Melissa. We don't we don't mess with that Melissa. Not no more. Okay, whatever, man. I think I'm in Baller territory, Jet. Grove Street. Home. At least it used to be. I think if I make a ruckus in here, they'll get mad. Yo, what's Inspector Gadget doing in here? Wake up, y'all! Oh, what? Oh, yeah, yeah, what the heck? Oh, shoot! You shoot me! You shoot me! They're going crazy with it. I need to defend my vehicle. Oh, what the? They're on the houses! So many of them! Freestyle, baby! Alright, we out. We really cleaned up house, didn't we? Is there a way out of here through this way? I don't think so. Alright, uh, pardon me. High speed, this is a high speed chase now, avoiding police. Oh my, that was very violent. That was a very violent, okay, you're gonna have to. All right, we out of you. We out you. Oh! Becky, you okay? Like I care. Oh, you okay? Oh, she's very tall. She's a very tall lady. I was concerned about my friend, obviously. All right, we got four stars. Let's do it. I want to be free. I want to be free. Oh, I want to be free. Ow. All right, this is my getaway vehicle. You guys know it already. My driving is impeccable. That was just, I used him as a, a guardrail to turn. Four stars ain't nothing for a professional. Damn it! Like me. That car literally spawned in front of me though, so I'm not gonna count that. What car is on the casino wheel? I believe it's the Roosevelt. I believe. Sweet. 
I'm oh my I just bounced all right my car is a little broke it's a little broke up it do be looking kind of fresh it do be looking bro my driving is insane I might be baby driver too more now Security guard. Easy. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. You'll never get this. La 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 la. Oh shoot. Uh. Up the rim, baby. What a safe car. See, the safety rating on this car is insane. You can't fly through the windshield in multiplayer, right? I don't think you can. I'm surprised this car is not done so yet. I thought I'd have more police on. I guess I do have a lot of police on. We just gotta zoom. I mean, the best way to avoid them is to go underground and stuff. Baby driver 2.0, baby driver 2.0, baby driver 2.0. Or you know, you gotta go at them sometimes. Up and at them. Up and at them. Eventually I'll lose them. I wanna try to lose them without doing the cheap tactics. Oh my, what? There's a billion of them up there. And driving like that just makes me oh why did I say that and then I that happened Dora the Explorer I'm gonna drive by a police station if I'm not careful I'm gonna make a left here nope I'm gonna make a right here nope okay I'm gonna make a left here Okay, I'll make a hard right. I'll make a hard right. I'll make a hard left. Make a hard right. Put the gas on. Put the gas on. Up here. Make a hard right. This is the wrong way. No! I thought that led up somewhere. Darn it. Okay. Um, let's improvise. There is a swarm of cops over there. I'm not going to Get out of here, people. I got four stars. Easy. Easy. Oh, shoot. How am I supposed to get rid of them without going underground? That's a real question. I don't think I don't think you can escape the cops in this game unless you go underground. I swear to you. They're just exploding each other and stuff now. I'm gonna take the same route here. Oh my gosh, it's the same guy with the addition of an alien. Sorry, with us, astronaut. Oh shoot, they met up with me. What's up? You wanna film a movie? How you doing? How you doing? It's okay. It's okay. It's all good. There's nobody gonna get caught by the cops here today. I've worked too hard for this. Roadblock at the wrong spot, Chief. Might have to start taking down some helicopters here, though. 
Yeah, like, I know I can go by the train and the tunnels and stuff, but that is so cheap to me, man. It, it just, it doesn't feel authentic. I'm gonna hit a wicked jump here. If I make it, it's gonna be clutch. If I don't make it, it's gonna be really, really bad. I make it about 7% of the time. So, can we all cross our fingers here? Oh, God. Oh, what am I doing this? No. Oh, this is bad. told you it is no good I got my backup plan chat Oi let's go I'm guessing you don't want a back rub. How can I help? Easy. Okay, okay, I'll get you out of trouble. Easy. No Inspector problem. Gadget. Easy. And I told you, I like this is the hardest jump to make if you're not on a motorcycle. Like this is made for a motorcycle, this jump. Alright, we're gonna try it one more time here. We're gonna try it one more time. Yeah, this is online. Morse Mutual. Such a nice car. Thing. We're here to I help. Made it myself. Okay, I made it myself. Uh, I can do that. Eleven. That was an eleven thousand dollar mistake, Jet. All right, perfect. The car's pulling up a little bit. I run super, super slow with that. Let me run with just a knife in my hand. That'll probably be faster. Now he calls Lester, right? All right, let's go ahead and see if we can get our mechanic friend vehicle or request personal vehicle. That's a lot of pilots. Oh, it came right here. Okay, guys, do you believe in me? I need everyone to type either yes or no in chat if you believe in me. And I need everyone separately of that to hit the like button. So everybody, please hit that like button as well. We're going to be hopping up in this. And hopefully we're going to have a really cool story and a really nice jump to hit. But I need your support, chat. So so hit me with it. Hit me with your best shot. I'll be reading super chats after this. Do you believe in my driving abilities? This is the real question. Do you believe... As in my driving abilities. Here we go. Nice, clean, fresh. This is our vehicle in case anything happens to it. Do you think I can sneak by this? I don't want to do any damage to my car. Oh, shoot. I forgot it's front wheel drive. Can I fold the mirrors? Can I fold the mirrors? I don't want to scratch the paint. There we go. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm just going to put this calm. I'm wobbling. Oh, I got the speed wobbles. Bro, chill. Why, why do you get the speed wobbles right there? We, okay. I, I knew it. There's something wrong with this road. It makes you zigzag. I swear. Look, look. I'm just going to hold accelerator. Look. Why is it turning? Look, I'm, I'm aimed straight, right? Why is it turning? Shoot, okay. Here goes nothing. Can I drive a little on the side, maybe? Oh, no. There's, like, bumps. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay, it's throwing me off. It's okay. It's okay. Here we go. Here we go. I believe I can fly. Boom! Let's go. Let's go, lads. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. I don't see how you could ever make this jump. You could be juiced out of your mind to make that jump. For real, for real. For real, for real. All right. Well, it's 
been a good run with the new Honda. I think it's really cool. Let me know your thoughts in chat. A little bit expensive. A little bit expensive. Not very good at racing, but you know, pretty cool car overall. And I'm glad you guys were here to join me for it. Um, we're just going to go ahead and just, we're just going to mess it up now. I'm just going to just leave it here. I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Maybe put a, a mask on it. Maybe put this girl with her freaking skirt on. I don't know. I actually, you know what? I'm going to mess it up this way. I'm going to put primary. I'm going to put lime green on it. Where's the lime green? I'm going to put a lime green. Shout out to my boy Jelly for the lime green. Lime green it is. That actually looks pretty sick. Secondary. Matte black. Why not? All of that in a nice hard day at work. There you go. Easy. Easy. Easy, chat. Easy. This just goes to show that this vehicle looks good in anything. I think green looks particularly amazing. Want to know your thoughts on this vehicle? Let me know in a comment. Um, that's really going to be it for this one. Uh, we, got a, we got a decent amount of... Um, how do I put the super chat? So I want to read those out loud. For some reason, again, I've mentioned this several times, and I'm just hoping that it corrects itself every time, but it doesn't. Um, I have to go to a special location to find my super chats for some reason. So, uh, bear with me for a second, but let me know: Do you prefer the black or the lime green version of which I customized? Really, there's two options. I would love to know what you think. So, uh, my YouTube is not loading. Kind of hit hard. It do, it do be kind of fresh though, right? I what I always think when someone says it is that I always think of George, my cat George, uh, with with like him getting like maybe putting some gel in his hair, or maybe getting a little haircut. And someone said it in chat the other day, and they said George's cut do be looking kind of fresh though. And it was the most random comment, truly. But it really stuck with me. And now I keep thinking of George maybe just freshly coming out of the barbershop or maybe just putting a little spike his hair a little. It's a great thought, you know? You got to hold on to those sometimes. Yeah, half of you don't know what the hell I'm talking about, so that's okay. But uh, Super chats. Here we go. You're all super, but shout out to these super, super people here. Uh, we got a lot of them. We got uh, Jus Brook. Uh, shout out to you for the two. Uh, Phase Frizen, thank you for all those. Brandon Bala, shout out to you for the five. Uh, Brock One, keep grinding, TG. You're awesome. Thank you, man. Do my best, Brock. Garrison Heslop, shout out to you for the two. Boxer, thank you for that. Kevin Ross, thank you for the two. Matt Young, spin the wheel. I did. I didn't get it. Shout out to you for the five. Dirt Bike Madness, thanks for the two. Patrol Gaming, thank you for that. Uh, don't think you remember me from ARC videos, but I took your advice and it's helped me get 30k subs. Cheers, mate, from your fans down under. Patrol, that's awesome, dude. And uh, I do remember you. I believe I remember you. I'm glad that you were able to find some success, man. That's awesome. All the best, brother. Um, the new ARC DLC is going to be fun. That's going to be fun. Uh, shout out to Bryson Nance. Thank you for that. Uh, we got uh, Grizzly Gaming. Reject. Lawrence Emerson go crazy too with the 10. He's going crazy with that. Reject again with the 10. Beatrix, shout out to you for all those donos. Uh, why don't you play Slime Rancher? Please play it. So this way you don't play Slime Rancher. I okay. Well, thank you for all those donos, bro. And um, well, there's I think I ran out of stuff to do. That's probably why I don't play Slime Rancher. But I, I appreciate your dono. I appreciate you coming through. Even though this ain't Slime Rancher. Look, I, I made a Slime Rancher card for you. Aren't you happy? Uh, Superpants88, you were an inspiration. Greetings from Norway. That's awesome, man. Shout out to you. Appreciate that. Or Nor You have a beautiful country there. I would love to visit at some point. Uh, John Giappetta. Giappetta. It sounds like a fancy word for a Chiapet. Chiapet. Uh, I like your last name. It's fun. Uh, with the 10. TG, you're the best YouTuber out there, my guy. A1 content. Can you about me at please? Can you about me at please? Can you? I, I've read it three times. I have no idea what you're saying. Can you about me at me please? At please. 
Can you about me app, please? John, I've read it like eight times. I, I, it, I might be dumb, but I have no idea what you're trying to say there. But I appreciate the support, bro. And uh, can you about me app, please? Sure. I don't know what that means, but sure. Logan Mitchum, thank you for the five. Love all these videos. One thing I wanted to come back is a zombie apocalypse mod. You and a lot of other people, man. Maybe. Never know, Logan. Shout out to you for the five. Um, what else do we got? Uh, we have Isaiah De Cambra with the 20. Very generous. You didn't even say. Um, uh, oh, he dropped another 20. He said, I love the videos. I've been watching for three years. That means a lot to me, Isaiah. Thank you for that. You're the man. Uh, Brian Garduro, Gar, Gardano Roca. Thank you for that. Don't know, bro. Um, and then we got a um, oh, walnut with the two. Hey, Andre, can you check DM from Ron? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I, I, I'm so Ron, if you're watching this, my bad. I need to get back to you. Ronit won the Xbox, but he lives in a country that I don't even know if I can share. We're going to figure it out. And I'm, I'm happy Ronit won, though, because Ronit's been watching forever. He's the homie. And, um, you know, doing giveaways and stuff, it's kind of scary because, like, other random people can join that don't watch the videos. And I, I, the best thing is if somebody that I know of that's constantly watching, constantly enjoying the videos and great, like, presence and positive presence in the community wins. That's my favorite. That's my favorite. Uh, and then we got um, Venino. Will you be playing the new Predator game when it releases? Keep up the awesome videos. There's a Predator. I got to look it up, Venimo. Thanks for putting that on my uh, radar, bro. And uh, if it looks good, I'll play it. You know me. If it looks good, I'll play it. All right, chat. Uh, this has been a nice talk. I love you all. Jeremiah, it's very kind of you to say that. Ronit, I see you in chat, bro. I didn't forget about you, but kind of, but I didn't. Get back to you. It's, it's just been a busy week. My 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 days will be less busy in about a week or so. And then I think I'm gonna start doing two streams a day again, or the second channel is gonna start up. And one of those. But I just gotta clear out a few more things, and then we're gonna be good. All right. Um. But yeah. Shout out to everyone that's come through to the stream. I appreciate the heck out of you. Me and the Corgi be doing big things. So just get ready for them. And. Uh, yeah, thank you all for making this. I mean, there's like 10,000 of you almost watching this, so that's crazy, uh, especially for this time of night, and especially since, you know, GTA is like seven years old at this point. So I love you all. Thank you, guys. Appreciate your PD Pan with the awesome tracks and chat. Appreciate you, bro. Um, everybody, thank you guys so much for tuning in. It really means a lot. So I hope you guys all have a great evening. I will be back tomorrow with another awesome stream, most probably. Um, Tomorrow might be the only day that I miss a stream, but I, I think I'll probably hit it with a nice stream. So, anyway, guys, I will see you guys later. I'll talk to you over on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, until then, I hope you guys have a great day. Okay. All right. Uh, Ra Raul, real quick, uh, or Raul, what happens with Ark? Uh, Ark, I'm going to be doing with the new DLC drops. It was supposed to drop in December of 2019. They delayed it to January. They then proceeded to delay the January release date to February, late February. So about a week or two should be Ark unless they delay it again. Easy peasy. And then shout out to SpyTech for the donut as well. All right, guys. Uh, I'm just repeating myself, I think, at this point. So I will see you guys later. The Corgi lamp is definitely off. It was on. I'm, I need to put batteries. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. I hope you have an awesome day. And peace out. I'll leave you with the sounds of the ocean. Let me get closer. Let me see. I'll leave you with the sounds of the ocean. Oh, wait, wait. There we go. Sounds of the ocean. Jimmy, you gonna come by my barbecue Saturday? Nah, I was thinking about just, you know, shaving my legs. 
Why do you only shave your legs, Jim? Why not the rest of your body? Well, I like the feeling. I like to feel fast when I'm in the water. I like to feel fast. 